So for a little while now, people have been asking me if I can do a setup guide for Scum VM for Retrobat. So here we go. This is the setup guide for Scum VM today. And let me just get this part out of the way. Uh, Scum VM is a bit of a strange name, but it actually stands for Script Creation Utility for Maniac Mansion Virtual Machine. And if you're not aware, Maniac Mansion is one of the famous games for the point and click genre. So back in the day, a lot of Amiga fans and even PC DOS fans would enjoy these point and click adventure games and another popular one in that genre was of course The Secret of Monkey Island and many Sierra Online games as well as LucasArts games we even had Indiana Jones as a point and click adventure so uh, Scum VM it actually helps us emulate these games and there are some real good classics here so in this setup guide it's not going to be an easy one and you're going to have to really concentrate on following what i'm doing here but we're going to get you up and running with scum vm and you're going to have some great fun which you experience in the 80s and even early 90s so check this one out So if you're new to my channel and you like today's video, do hit notifications and also make sure subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming content for Retrobat. And do check out my playlist for Retrobat. I've got many guides at this point as well as other front end systems that I follow and do videos for on my channel such as Retroarch, Launchbox, Batacera. I'm even doing Raspberry Pi these days. So anyways, we're talking about Scum VM today. So it's a little bit out to the ordinary for a retro bat setup but we're going to get there so uh first of all what we need to do is just head over to this libretro website and there's a file here that we need to download and the file is scumvm.zip and you can find this under the initial configuration part so once you've downloaded this zip file this is what you're going to get and we got scum vm here so what i'm going to do first is just double left click on this one to open this up uh, and we've got the scum vm folder inside of here which has got a couple of extra folders inside so i'm going to just drag this one out okay so once we've extracted that what we're going to do next is just delete this zip folder just right click and delete on this next thing we're going to do is go into the retrobat directory and the easiest way around this is by right clicking on your retrobat shortcut open file location and we're looking for the BIOS folder in here. And here it is. So just go inside of here. And if you drag this down, we're going to find a scum VM folder. So let's double left click in the scum VM folder. And once we're here, what we're going to do is just drag this scum VM folder inside of the Retrobat BIOS scum VM folder. It's as simple as that. So what we need to do next once we've done that is open up Retrobat. Okay, so once we're inside Retrobat, you're going to find an icon which says Retrobat. If you just go inside of this icon, if you scroll until you come across Scum VM, there's two versions here. Now, the one I'm going to avoid is the Libretro one, and I'm going to go for Scum VM. Let's just open up this one. And it says the emulator of Scum VM is not installed. Install now. So I'm going to go ahead and press yes. Okay, so this is Scum VM, which we just downloaded. Now we need to do a few things in here first. So firstly, what I'm going to do is just head over to Global Options, which is on the right side. And this is going to open up a new window. What we're going to do here is just go over to Paths. And there's a couple of paths here which we need to set up for that zip file, which we extracted just now. And what we need to do firstly is go to the theme path. And this is going to open up a directory window. So we need to search for our Retrobat directory from here. And in my case, this is on my C drive. So this PC. And if I scroll down from here, I'm going to find Retrobat. And inside of Retrobat, 
I'm going to go to the BIOS folder and let's just search for scum VM. And we're going to find scum VM. And if I just choose this one, and I'm going to do the same with extra path. So I'm also going to choose this. And from here, I'm going to just go to apply and OK. And let's just quit out of here for now. And we're also going to quit out of Retrobat and let's grab a game. So again, links in my description for this. And what I'm going to do with this is just grab a game. Uh, this is DreamWeb. So if I just left click on here, now we got different versions of DreamWeb. And these are all freeware versions. So we got a floppy version of this, or we've also got a CD version. And of course, CD version is going to load up a lot quicker than floppy. So I'm going to left click on this CD version and just wait just a minute for this one to download. So here's my game I've just downloaded. This is Dream Web, and this is in a zip file. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder, new folder, and I'm going to just title this one Dream Web. And if I just copy this zipped folder, which I've just downloaded inside this newly created Dream Web folder, let's go in here. And if I right click on this, I'm going to extract it. I use WinRAR. You might be using WinZip or 7-Zip. They're all the same. Just wait for this to extract. And this is everything that we need. So let's just scroll down from here. We can now delete this dot zip. We no longer need that one to so right click and delete on this one. And that's all good to go. So we're going to go back to Retrobat, open file location. This time we're going to go to the ROMs folder. And under ROMs, you're going to find scum VM. And here we go. So what we're going to do is just drag this game inside of this Retrobat ROM scum VM folder. So once that's in place, we're going to head back into Retrobat once more. Okay, I'm back into Retrobat logo and we're going to find scum VM again. And here we go. So just make sure it's not Libretro. I'm using this version. So let's just open up Scum VM. Okie dokes, so we're back in. So what we're going to do next is simply go to Add Game. And from here, I'm now going to find my Retrobat ROMs folder. So again, what I'm going to do is look on my C drive, which Retrobat's installed to. And Retrobat is here. And I'm going to go down to ROMs. And we're going to find Scum VM. And I'm going to just highlight on my Dream Web game and press on Choose. And this is going to bring up a new window in Scum VM. So it's identified this and it's also given it a name. Now we've also got ID for this too. So I'm going to just press on OK from here. And once that's added, I'm going to go to quit. And once again, we're going to just quit out of Retrobat. So main menu and just go down to quit. And we're going to open up the file location directory again for Retrobat. So just right click on the shortcut, open file location. And we're going to scroll down to ROMs again. And we're going to go down to Scum VM. Okay, now the next part of this is very important that you do this, otherwise things aren't going to work. What we're going to need to do is go to View, which is on Windows Explorer. And if I go down to Show, I need to make sure that file name extensions is checked. And like I say, this is very important that you actually make sure file name extensions are checked, otherwise it's not going to work. So we're going to finish this off by going into my game folder, which is DreamWeb, and I'm going to create a new text document. So right click and new and text document. And this opens up a new text document, as we can see just here. And I'm going to give this a name. So the name is going to be DreamWeb. And of course, if you're using a different game for Indiana Jones, for example, you'll need to type out Indiana Jones text. So once we create this text document, I'm going to double left click to go inside of this one. 
And what we need to do next is find the ID for this game. And we're going to type this into this text document. So if we head back over to the Scum VM website and we go to compatibility, which you can find under documentation, uh, this is the entire list of what Scum VM caters for all these games and i'm going to just look for my game which is dream web and what we're looking for like i say is an id so once you found your game dream web in my case here is the id and the id of dream web is literally dream web all in lowercase so just right click on this highlight it and go to copy and close this down and inside of that dream web text document that i created i'm going to right click and just paste the ID of this and I'm going to go to file and just save this and we can close this text document down and once that's closed down I'm going to right click on this streamweb.txt document and this time show more options rename and the file extension is currently .txt I'm going to change this one now to .scum vm and if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. And that's about it. So let's go back into Retrobat again. Okay, so we're inside Retrobat once again, and this time we're going to go ahead and find Scum VM. And here's Scum VM, and it's also got my game inside of here. So first of all, I'm going to get some artwork for this. So main menu, I'm pressing start on my PS3 controller. Scraper, scrape now. And just let this do a spin a second. Okay, scrape and finish, update game list to apply changes. So just scroll up to game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we have it, excellent stuff. So if we go to view options, advanced system options, we can see that we've got our emulator just here, which we've installed, and we've also got Libretro listed. So I'm going to just scroll down to scum because I'm not using that Libretro. But anyways, let's actually go into the game itself. And just press yes if you see a BIOS missing come up. And here we have it. So you are pretty much good to go now and play some classic point and click games. A dwelling of pure thought shaping our futures. The dream web. Watched over by servants, billions of years old. For centuries, the dream web has been stable, but now evil is about to take control. The web of dreams is slowly unwinding. The seven evil powers on Earth are joining forces. If they become too strong, the dream web will be destroyed. Who will be the deliverer? Silence! The chosen ones are becoming aware. If they discover their powers, they will become too strong. Has the seed been planted? Yes, it has grown strong and he is stirring. The time has come and I should. Okay, so let's look at some video settings for our Scum VM games. So if I go to view options, advanced system options, under shader set, we've got various shaders just here or filters, uh, including scan lines, 
Curvature is a really cool feature of the shader set options, which gives us an old school look. I'm going to just test this one out and select curvature and see what you think. Under decorations, uh, by default, this one is selected and this is going to be, well, as you see the decorations on the side rather than black bars. I'm going to go to none on this. Uh, smooth games, we can put bilinear filter on. on. It's going to reduce the size of the full screen just a touch, but it's also going to clear up pixelation if that's your thing. So set this one to on. Vertical sync, I always put to on or yes to eliminate any potential screen tearing. And under visual rendering, we got scalar just here. And scalar is going to make some games look good. Some's going to make it look worse. So that's just an option to experiment with. I'm going to just leave this to auto for now. Now. And under anti-aliasing, you can go up to 16 times by this. And what anti-aliasing does is reduces wobbly edges on straight things. For example, if there's a fence and the top of it looks a little bit not even, uh, anti-aliasing cleans that up. But it comes at the cost of hardware resources. So, you know, just be modest and put that under four times and that should be fine. And if we just go up to video, we've got render methods and you can choose the way your games look on Scum VM. So, for example, if you want to give it an Amiga look, then select Amiga. Uh, even a Macintosh, Apple Macintosh, we can have a black and white render just here, which looks like a really old school Macintosh black and white monitor, for example. So lots there to experiment with. So that's it for my Scum VM Retrobat setup guide today. Uh, so yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like what you see in today's video, do hit notifications and also make sure to subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming Retrobat content and beyond. And also be sure to follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. And just to remind you, if there's a particular setup guide you need, which I haven't covered, uh, check out my membership options and select next level. And that gives you a perk where I can upload you a video to answer your question. But until next time, stay retro.